<coughs> well now, if you're up here in Scotland like me, you're probably aware of the minimum unit pricing for alcohol. But, 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 if you're not, if you're down south somewhere or overseas, you probably have no idea what it is. So the Scottish government, in all the wisdom, have decided that there should be a minimum price per unit of alcohol for wine, beer, whiskey, vodka, spirits, etc. Now, they decided that 50 pence per unit is going to stop people going out and binge drinking. And it's going to stop people drinking at home, getting pissed with all this wine and vodka and whiskey and stuff that we like to drink up here and everywhere else, really. But their 50p per unit is going to go up in September to about 69 pence a unit. Now, when you think a bottle of wine contains about 10 units, now that's going to raise the minimum price per bottle of wine up here in Scotland to at least six pounds and nine pence. I don't know if I'm just being old, but I remember going to the local shop not too long ago and buying myself three bottles for a tenner. And I used to think that's a good deal for the night. You know, so 10 quid, three bottles of wine, happy days, that's your Friday sorted. But now, with that price going up to at least six pounds and nine pence per bottle of wine, they are saying that this is going to prevent about 120 deaths per year relating to alcohol up in Scotland. Now, is this just a cash grab for the retailers and the government to increase the price of the alcohol, increase the price of the wine? But is it worth everyone else spending more money on booze to save those 120 lives of people who would be put off by spending that extra money and binge drinking? Or will it just drive people to make their own home brew? Drive it underground, undercover, into the stairs, anywhere you like. You can make a bottle of wine for about 30p. That's a far, far cry from six pounds and nine pence that the Scottish government want to charge you and us and me for a bottle of wine. Six pounds and nine pence, or 30p a bottle. What would you rather? And also, when you make your own home brew, you have such a big variety of flavors, and it's a hobby, and it keeps you interested, and there's all things you need to do to make it. If you make your own home brew, you have to make your wine and wait a good three, six, nine, twelve months before it is ready to drink. It is a hobby. It is an interest. Yes, the end result is that you get cheap, cheap wine, about 30p, not for a glass, but for a bottle. Although, to be honest, some of my glasses do hold a full bottle. So, read into that what you like. But it is more so the principle that the government is telling us that we have to spend at least six pounds per bottle. It's not up to the retailers, not up to the wine makers, not up to the manufacturers, not up to anyone. But the government is saying how much we need to spend on booze, or how much we, or at least the minimum amount we should spend on booze. They are taking away the choice of retailers to put on offers to do that whole three bottles for a tenner. So I just think it's going to drive more people to make their own home brew. And to be honest, you can make wine dirt cheap and also really quickly within three weeks. Even if you don't buy a kit that says ready in seven days, that would cost you about £1 to £1.50 for a cheap kit. £1.50 over six quid per bottle. People are going to do that. There's going to be a big upsurge of home brewers in Scotland making their own homemade wine and making their own homemade beer. And also as well, they're putting on this minimum unit price on spirits. So people will start distilling. People will start making their own whiskey, vodka, gins using air stills and whatever else. It's illegal to do that element of it. I'm not condoning it, but people will start to do it because you don't be paying 18 to 20 quid for a cheap bottle of vodka when you can make your own just from a simple sugar wash 
and run it through an air still and add your own botanicals to it. Will this cause more deaths from people drinking stronger alcohol, 80% alcohol that is not regulated and is not manufactured in such a way where it is extra safe and, and made by professionals, people start messing around with stills in the kitchens. People are going to drink stronger alcohol and that is likely to cause more deaths than the 120 deaths per year saved by people binge drinking. People binge drink, people binge drink on 80% proof alcohol, not 40% proof alcohol. They will save themselves a fortune, but they will end up not paying tax initially and dying because they don't know what they're doing. They haven't gone through the process of learning. They just want a quick drink soon so they buy themselves an air still and make it as strong as they blimming can and get pissed and dead. So the government is treading their nose off despite their face because they are not paying the tax. They are not saving lives. They're just driving people to do an underground hobby such as homebrew. Homebrew, wine, beer, cider, perfectly legal, perfectly legit, not harmful at all. However, if you start messing around with spirits, that's a new boarding. That is a needle. There are certain health risks attached to it. So have they thought this through? Are they going to raise this price again from £6 a bottle to £12? Are they going to make a bottle of wine out of reach of the average Joe public? Pound a pint. Remember that? That's a long time ago. Now you're looking at five, six, seven quid for a pint. Going out down the pub and getting a skinful is out of reach of the average common person. So people make their own because they can achieve the same result for less money and not paying tax on it. So what do you think? Is the minimum unit price a good idea? Is it beneficial? Will it save lives? Or is it beneficial to the hobby of home brew? Will people start looking up my YouTube channel for recipes on how to make more wine? Because they want to know how to make it for cheap. Is cheap booze the main reason people make wine? For me, it is a definitely a part of it. But I like the flavours, I like the hobby, I like the process, I love foraging, I love the whole process of experimenting and creating weird and wonderful stuff. Now, will it make people brew bad booze? Because brewing bad booze is a thing. Think breaking bad. Who knows what might happen in people's kitchens with air stills and this and that, whatever. If you want to watch a bit more about brewing bad booze, why don't you go and check out this video up by here. And let me know in the comments what you think of the minimum unit price up in Scotland. Six quid a bottle, would you pay that? Let me know, and I'll see you really soon.